The band's name is Striper, a heavy metal rock band. Robert Sweet is the drummer of the group, Michael Sweet is the vocalist, and their mom, Jana Sweet, is Striper's manager. Welcome to all of you. You know, every time somebody says something about heavy metal, you know that there is the aspect of the language, the words, the devil, that it gets kids inflamed and gets them into bad habits and very suggestive. How do you respond to that? Well, I guess we do it with a different type of message to the same type of music. Um, I wouldn't really call Striper heavy metal to be truthful. I would uh, say that we're just a, a rock and roll band out there who is kind of rebelling against what is in the in the marketplace today. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to stand for something good. Rock and roll is good music, and it deserves it. I have to tell you that I've seen a number of pictures. I haven't seen you perform, but I thought it was a heavy metal band. I saw the way you looked. I saw the clothes that you were in. I, I read some of the words of some of the music, and I thought to myself, now, this is interesting. This is a really different kind of twist. What is your message to kids? Our message is uh, one thing only, uh, you know, we, we've all been through a lot throughout our lives, each band member in Striper, and uh, Christ has changed our lives, so we want to share with not just kids, but everybody of the world what Christ can do if you call on his name, what mm -hmm. he can do in your life, if you're going through problems or whatever. Y you say something very interesting, though, you, you, you talk about the name of an album in God We Trust, the mm -hmm. idea that this country was founded on religious freedom. I'm, right. I, I'm, is that the message that you give, religious freedom and the idea of, of looking to God? For this album, the message that we're trying to get across is don't put your trust in money. You know, we feel a lot of people in the last couple of years have put their trust in money and there's been a lot of downfalls, so you might say. Uh, we've seen it, you know, the whole world. It's been exposed to the world. And I don't have to mention names, but uh, that, that's what happens when you put your trust in a material thing, a mm -hmm. piece of paper. Mm -hmm. But if you look to what the piece of paper says, it says, in God we trust, yet the majority of the world doesn't truly trust in God. And if they were to do so, I think there'd be a lot less problems in the world today. Mm -hmm. And I'd, I'd just like to add, we understand how it's hard for some people uh, to believe there is a God and we're hoping that we can encourage the world to to believe in him uh, because there's hope in that uh, there's not really hope in like Michael said money it's great what money can buy but there's no real hope in it Janice when did you recognize that your boys had this kind of potential from the time that they were young children very very young did you sing with them when you first started yeah my husband and I have been singers and songwriters for years, and the kids were raised in a musical family, and they grew up listening to the family get together and jam, have fun. Did you ever think about songs. calling the group Sweet Mother and Her Sugar Cubes? No. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't resist. I mean, I love Sweet Mother. Just seems to me. You must have been teased about that a lot, or oh, Mother Sweet. Yeah. I mean, I've had years really, of bet. teasing about that. I'll Didn't bet. we think about calling the group Sweet at one time? A long, long but time ago. there was the group Sweet, you know, already, so. You guys got in a little trouble, I understand. You put a um, picture of a dollar bill or a replica on a... a Covered? Did that create a little problem for no, you? No, what happened is in the beginning when the artwork uh, went undergoing, uh, it was a little too close. And, I see. Uh, they didn't like that. So the government didn't like that. <laughs> right. So, that so we, that. we changed it enough. I guess the color, you know, the coloring of the uh, cover itself, and uh, it was acceptable. Janice, I was reading a report. One of the churches in Michigan, as a matter of fact, talked about the fact that we're not heavy, uh, happy with heavy metal and the association with Christianity and didn't like the idea of throwing Bibles into the audience. Uh -huh. Respond, you know, with so much going on in the church, your son mentioned it himself. We constantly bring up the same names and mention people, but how are people to see this when it takes on at least the trappings of a variety of other things? I think the church needs to wake up. The church, a lot of people in the church today are, they're just They're just not really aware of what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. They're in their own little day-to-day -day existence, and they don't really know what it takes to reach those kids that are out there. 
Plus, I, I would like to say we really don't take on any religious or church type of trappings whatsoever. We just want to be really outspoken and, and say to people, don't fall into this little category of where you put your trust in a church or you put your trust mm -hmm. in a man. Don't put your tr trust in a religion. Absolutely. Uh, you get to the, the focus of, of what it is, and that's put, putting your trust in Christ, and it's really cool. And uh, It's strange because there's like hundreds of different religions, but yet the Bible is the number one best-selling book of all time. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says to follow Christ. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, not Buddha, not so-and-so, not so-and-so, mm -hmm. follow Christ. Mm -hmm. And, and, and within religion today, there are so many disagreements, mm -hmm. and we've always told people if, if well, the then you're going to limit yourself to some degree in an audience if if you leave <coughs> out some of the other uh, religions. But that's okay. That's well, no, the way see, that we're you not trying to, to limit. That. We're not trying to limit anybody. We're just speaking what we feel to 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 know, or what we know is the truth. Okay, you are a commercial enterprise, and a natural question that would come up is: you're talking about not honoring money. You don't work for free, do you? Of course not. You can't. Absolutely not. We have to survive just like any other human. Do you give a portion of what you earn, or a certain percentage? We give. Uh, we give our money as we see fit to give. You know, on a personal basis. You know, I give money, my personal money, to certain charities and things that I feel led to give to. Uh, I'm sure Robert does the same. I'm sure the other two members do the same. And we, we want to let everybody out there know Striper is not the type of thing because people have asked us before. We don't live off of donations. Right. We're out there working real hard for every amount of and money. And we've that never comes asked in. for group. money. Interesting group. And I thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.